we have two cables attached to a bracket and exerts a force as shown. So this is very common. You will see two forces poking out in different directions, okay? And they'll give you some angles to show the direction and also the magnitude, which is 15 and 6 respectively. Okay, let's continue. What are the magnitudes of the horizontal and vertical components of the resultant of the two forces? So now I have two forces, 15 and 6, and, one, and I want to add them up. Okay, I want to add them together. So if I'm adding them together, then um, the first method is to split them into horizontal and vertical. And this question is very nice. Uh. They draw the horizontal and vertical for you as if you don't know like that, okay? So I'm going to now split this, but I may draw something a bit different. So I have a force that is in the horizontal direction, like this. Let me try to draw again. Force in the horizontal direction, like this. And then another force going upwards, like this. Okay? But then, hold. to find this vertical forces, I need to use, and horizontal forces, I need to, I need to use cause and side. Okay, so to make my life easy, I'm just going to call this F1, okay? The 5 new 15 Newton is F1, okay? And if this is F1, now I, I'm thinking about splitting F1 into horizontal and vertical component. So what exactly is going on here is this one, I can actually move it here. It may be easier for you to see. I don't know, okay? So to help you brain this, which is the same thing, look at this triangle. I can represent it this way, or I can move the arrow here. Guys, it's the same arrow. It's the same vector drawing. A is this one plus this one. Okay. And later you will see why sometimes drawing like this is easier for your brain. Okay. But right now, when we resolve, right, or when we want to split, what is beside the angle we use cos because so kato. so right beside the angle you see ah uh, this this horizontal one is right beside the 20 degree angle so this is 15 cos 20 okay horizontal the vertical one is opposite the angle nah, 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 the vertical one was here what Ding. so you're going to use sine right opposite the angle we use sine so this one is 15 sine move this one here 15 sine 20. you can always double check let me explain 15 is in this direction okay you can have 15 cos 20 here and then you plus 15 sine 20. this is 20 degrees Ding, ding. Okay. So when you add them together, let's say I press my friend Casio, the calculator. By the way, uh, if you are using a scientific calculator, especially if you have sine, cosine, tangent, before you start anything, uh, you better check this one is D. Uh. This little, 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 little black color notation, it is D. D for degree, not R for radian. Okay. In case you use radian in your maths papers. So right now, I'm going to type in 15 cos 20 okay and i'll put i'll put 14.1 okay so it's not going to be accurate but it's good enough 14.1 and here is 15 sine 20 and this is 5.1 pythagoras we combine them okay so Please be aware that I won't get exact number because I rounded it, but let's try. 5.1 plus 14.1 square and square root this answer. I will get very close to 15. 14.99. Okay, so I'm splitting into two. All right. So my shortcut or my mental shortcut is no angle. Opposite the angle, we use sine. You see sine here? Opposite angle are... Uh, no angle, need to sign contract and borrow. So, this is the component without angle. And then, 
because is the component adjacent beside the angle. Yeah, let's do six Newton. Okay, six Newton is going down, 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 down. So there's a downward component. There's also a component to the right. So I guess I could move this one in this direction. Now you see why I do that. So that the top and the bottom align nice, nice, uh, chun chun, uh, can use. If not, uh, here got one vector. Okay, see, uh, if I return this vector to the original position, and I return this one to the original position, you may not, you may or may not remember to combine them. Okay, so I prefer to put them together here. Back to original position. So that way I can tell minus. Uh. Okay, so once, let's do this again. The vertical component is right beside 40 degree. Right beside 40 degree. So this is 6 beside adjacent. Kepi, sebela. What other language do I know? That's all I know. Beside. So this will be 6 cos 40. You watch Malaysian teacher teach, learn some Malay lah. Di tepi, beside. Tepi. Anyway, bring this one over here. 40. What about the horizontal component? This one. Remember this one? Mm. This one, no angle, so lonely. Lonely without angle must sign some karaoke. Sign 40 degree. Do not, and I repeat, do not memorize. Horizontal must be cons. Vertical must be sign. My dudes, I can give I can give you any angle that you want. Okay, if you want to memorize that way, then you always take the angle from the horizontal, which is another thing to remember. All right. So I rather think about my right angle triangle. You can double check. I miss. I cannot. This one like this. Okay. Then you have this one like that. And this one like this. So on one side you have six sine forty. Press calculator lah. So we we'll see whether the length makes sense or not. 6 sine 40. This is the shorter length. 3.8567. Okay. 3.9. Okay. Alright. And the down here is 6 cos 40. Ding, 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 ding. Cos 40. 4.6. 4.59, 4.6. So the longer one is the vertical component. And if you add them together using Pythagoras theorem, uh, of course, I know I can come up with a more accurate expression, but I just want to show you that you can always quickly double check. This one is 36.37, nice square root. I get 6.03, which is close enough to 6. Okay? So in short, when you split, you can see component without angle, we use sine. Component adjacent to the angle. Nah, the angle is here. Uh. So or not, this is my angle. Right beside the angle, we use cos. No angle, then we will use sine. Cool. Okay, haven't finished yet. We need to find the total horizontal and vertical component. So who is horizontal? I write here. Horizontal will be 15 cos 20 plus 6 sine 40. Same direction, parallel, can go. So this one will be 14.1 plus uh, 6 sine 40 or 3.9. So I get 18.0. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Vertical. You see, uh, the reason why I want to move the arrow over is because I can take the top one minus the bottom one. Uh, you know, minus. Okay. So you may say, okay, teacher, I take up as positive. Can. Because this one give you a positive number. Positive. Take down as negative. Also can. So 15 sine 20. Of course, if you are not teaching this as an example, you can always write like that, then press calculator, okay? Minus 6 cos 40. 
So what we are doing here is actually looking at the horizontal and vertical components. And uh, if I, I guess I'll press this again. Uh, 15 sine 20 minus 6 cos 30. I'll be phobia to move the one more. Keep jumping here and there. Why so excited? 0 0.534 Newton. Okay. So your answer will be C. This one is the most straightforward one. Of course, later you may be thinking, teacher, if they want me to, teacher, 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 wait, 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 wait. This one, oh, is positive, ah, huh? so it's upwards. Correct, it's up. Okay, this one is obviously not drawn to scale, lah. Six cannot be so long when fifteen is so short. Not drawn to scale. Okay, but the thing is, when you have these two, can you combine them? Can. So hence, right now, what we have is. Remember how just now we have this vector and then we change to one like this and one like this. Now we're going to reverse back. So here to here, we call this resolve vector. Nah, one cos, one sine, one. Uh, okay. Now we're going to bring it back. So what do I say? What do I mean by that? Well, we have this 18 Newton. And then we have this upward vertical. 0 0.534 Newton. Want to find the resultant? Can. This is the resultant. Okay. So the final resultant. So right now you have the 18 and 0 0.534 is the horizontal and vertical one. But sometimes we want the final one. So we'll take 18 square plus 0 0.534 square. Let me scroll up a bit so you can see. Whole thing. Square root. I put power half. La. No space here. Okay, so 18 square plus 0 0.534. Square root answer. Okay, this is also 18.00 square. Answer no square. It's very close. La. Why? Again, because like the previous example, this one is small. So this one will be close to this one. Close. Okay. So this is the question in its entirety. And uh, I'll see you in the next example. Make sure you know how to resolve your vectors and go and try out other things. Learn to split them into X and Y component. Gather all the horizontal component, put together. Gather all the vertical component and put together. So always resolve. Then... At this stage, you combine, and then at the end, you pi tigers using right angle triangle. In your AS, triangle is your best friend. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.